Hello and welcome back to Tinker Talks Guns. We're here this time to talk about the diminutive Astra Cub. In this particular case, in 22 short of all things. Um, these were more popular in 25 ACP as was the Colt badged version, which is the same gun badged as a Colt Junior. Although both guns were also available in 22 short. Now, 25 ACP is viewed at best as a questionable choice for a self-defense pistol. Um, from a gun like this, si like this in this size range, it's about as powerful as standard velocity 22 long rifle. And there's much better than standard velocity 22 long rifle available these days. So it's pretty marginal. 22 short is only a bit over half as powerful. From this gun, it propels a 29 grain bullet at around 700 feet per second. Depending on your ammunition choice, this is going to get you 32 to 42 foot pounds of energy. There are more powerful 22 shorts out there too. Um, but this one I tested with standard velocity and 32 foot pounds of energy, it's not much twice as much as a standard, normal 22 caliber spring air rifle can usually achieve, at least the better ones. And um, you have to wonder, what is the appeal of these tiny, tiny guns? Well, a lot of it is that they're tiny, tiny guns, and there's very seldom a reason why you can't have one about your person. And given that most criminals run away when you shoot them, it doesn't that much matter what you shoot them with in a lot of cases, but it could. And that's where these guns fall down sometimes quite badly. Now, tiny semi-automatic pistols were introduced within a decade or so of practical semi-automatic pistols being invented in the early 20th century. Um, they tried to make 22 long rifles work and they just weren't there yet. They're long, they're narrow, they're rimmed. They present a lot of issues. So John Browning designed the 25 ACP or 6.35 millimeter. And being a straight walled, only semi-rimmed case of uh, chunkier proportions, it worked much, much better that 22 long rifle. Now, eventually people did produce small guns as we learned more about making guns in 22 long rifle and even, as you can see, 22 short and even 22 long. And um, they remained very popular for the better part of 70 years. Um, and you have to wonder why. Well, in addition to being handy and always to hand, um, people like things that are small and clever. And they like shooting people who are trying to take their stuff. It's a match made in heaven. There's not much sm more small and clever than a tiny semi-automatic pistol. And uh, like I said, they remained popular for 70 years. The death knell started with the Gun Control Act of 1968 when you could no longer import pistols such as this, but they were already falling out of favor for their lack of stopping power. And make no mistake, you can easily kill someone with one of these, even this 22 short, but your ability to stop a determined, a committed attacker is going to be, it's going to take an inordinate amount of skill or luck. And um, by the 80s, people were pretty tired of depending on skill and luck. So guns like this slowly fell out of favor. First of all, they could no longer import inexpensive ones. And there were workarounds, like, you know, getting complete kits sent from overseas and manufacturing some of the parts in the United States. And both Colt and FIE went that route, as did others. But with their waning popularity, their days were pretty much numbered and really not many people make 25 autos anymore and most of the ones they make are frankly not very good. 
Let's have a look at this little devil on the tabletop. The Astra Cub is not the smallest example of its breed, but it is genuinely small, being four and a half inches long and under three and a half inches tall. It is a hammer-fired single-action semi-auto with a manual safety. Forward is safe, back is fire. Pretty simple. Um, the, it has a top hinged trigger and you can't really dry fire rim fires and I don't have an empty 22 short case handy so I'm just going to block it with my thumb. There is some take up on the trigger and you hit a wall. And this is really just slack. There's a tiny bit of creep and then it breaks clean at about three and a half pounds. It's actually kind of a nice trigger. The reset is commendably short. And it's very easy to rapid fire this gun. What is not easy is accuracy because these sights are awful. They're not useless, but they are difficult to use because they are so small. And of course, having a very short sight radius does not aid their cause, although the front and rear sights when you're looking down at are darn near in the same focal plane. So from that perspective, it's easier to line them up than you might think if you can manage to see them at all. So the magazine, uh, the 25 ACP version holds seven or eight rounds, I can't recall. Uh, this one, because the cartridges are stubby and narrow and have a rim requires a rather special follower um, which takes up a lot more room and you can only get six rounds in the magazine so your capacity is six plus one rather than seven plus one or eight plus one for the 25 whichever it is i don't recall the interesting thing about the magazine is it incorporates a feed ramp so you're not going to get nose dives because there's nowhere for the nose to dive because as soon as it starts moving, it's on the feed ramp, which is below the curve of the bullet and goes straight up into the chamber. There's literally nowhere else it can go. And the owner of this thoughtfully provided me with a brand new box of hundred rounds of this really good quality CCI standard velocity 22 short. And I made the most of that because it's fun. Grips are plastic with checkering, Astra logo, and the name of the gun, the Cub, on both sides. And to take it down, you put the safety in place, and then that locks the slide when you pull it back. You can use this as a slide release when reloading or whatever. I don't recommend it, but the slide does not lock back on an empty magazine, so its utility in reality is fairly questionable. Once the slide is locked to the rear, you can rotate the barrel to disengage the lugs that lock it to the frame inside, and then simply take the magazine out, and you can slide the barrel, recoil assembly, etc., right off the front of the frame. It's actually quite easy, but uh, I don't want to fight with YouTube about it, so I'm not going to show you. Also, I did a video about my wife's uh, 25 caliber Colt Jr., which is literally the same gun, it's just marked and badged as a Colt. And uh, it's, it's quite a clever little thing, and it's really a very well-made gun. We don't always have the highest opinion of Spanish-made guns, but when they're good, they're very good. And this is very good. It's nice bluing, good quality finish. This is, of course, an older gun. But uh, yeah, it's just a very neat little pistol. The thing about a tiny pistol like this Astra is that if it's going to be effective, you're going to need to be very, very good. And 25 ACP ammo has never been the cheapest ammo on the block. So from that perspective, a 22 makes a lot more sense. Unfortunately, it's a lot harder to get a 22 long rifle pistol this size to function. Now, people have managed it but they're never quite as reliable as the 25s. 
this one is because of features like the feed ramp internal to the magazine. Um, I put pretty much 100 rounds through it today and it never malfunctioned. Uh, just ran like a sewing machine. And it's a lot of fun. Um, should you carry it for self-defense? Oh, hell no. <laughs> if you're going to carry a gun this size, bite the bullet and pay for the 25 ammo and practice. Because the only real advantage this has over 25 that might conceivably offset its deficits is that the practice ammo, even in this day and age of hyper expensive rimfire ammo, the ammo is still cheap comparatively. So you can actually afford to practice with this rather a lot. Is that enough to offset its very real lack of power? I, I wouldn't. Now, that being said, I have lusted after one of these pistols, either this or its Colt version, for years, ever since Linda got her Colt Jr. and I found out they also came in 20, 22 short. Why? Damned if I know, I just love it. And I think part of it is the attraction of being able to afford to shoot it without sitting in my shop reloading 25 ACP ammo with difficult to obtain and expensive primers. And as a range toy, it's fun. I mean, I discovered back in the 80s that, here's the thing, okay. There's a saying in the car world. It's more fun to drive a slow car fast than it is to drive a fast car slow. And I've found this to be true. And I had a fairly stressful life in the 80s. And one of my great stress relievers was to take a crappy Raven 25 ACP which has all the deficits of this gun and add in a truly awful trigger and target shoot at 15 to 25 yards because it requires the gun is not inaccurate the basics are there for mechanical accuracy but because of the horrible sights and terrible trigger and short sight radius it's very very difficult to shoot well and so the totality of focus required to produce three inch groups at 15 yards, um, there just wasn't room for anything else in my head and my stress would just melt away. It was quite remarkable. And, and I do just love shooting little guns like this. It's just, they're clever and they're neat and they're interesting to me. I don't want to depend my, bet my life on it, but I love them. Well, and there it is, the Astra Cub in the mighty 22 short, which is, as we have covered, not even remotely mighty, unless you're a mouse. Then live in fear, rodent, live in fear. Anyway, hard not to be a little whimsical dealing with a gun of this nature. Uh, I'd like to make a shout out to my Patreons. Pretty much everything I do costs money and your contributions help more than you know if you would like to join my Patreon supporters. There's a link in the description below. I'd also like to thank Channel Benefactors. Uh, these are businesses and individuals who are not sponsors but do nice things to support the channel with allowing me the use of their facilities or contributing ammo or uh, providing me with interesting guns to shoot and show you all. So thank you also to those people. Anyway, I hope this finds you well. Stay safe, take care, and we'll talk to you again real soon.